Hello and welcome everybody. It is Dave here with a brand new Destiny 2 video for you. Now Josh wanted to be here, but he couldn't make it. But stay tuned, he will be doing a lot of Destiny 2 content right here on the Rectify YouTube and Twitch channels. And this is gameplay footage of a brand new mode in Forsaken called Gambit. Gambit is a hybrid PvE slash PvP game mode. This game mode is hosted by a new NPC called the Drifter. Now the Drifter is a relatively mysterious guardian wanderer that appeared a year after the Red War, riding into a gigantic asteroid carrying ship. He appears to worship the darkness as some of his quotes during Gambit matches state, During Gambit, two teams of four face off against each other by killing PvE enemies and collecting moats. These moats can be banked up to 75 and release blockers which are stronger enemies that appear on the enemy side. At certain points of moats being banked, a portal will appear on the enemy team side and one person can breach the portal to attack other players and slow down their progress. When the team deposits their full 75 moats, a prime evil will spawn on their own side. A breach will then open on the enemy side and they can invade as many times as they want. Still, only one person and there is a short cooldown between the time someone can breach through. When this primeval spawns, death will now cause the health of your primeval to increase. Whichever team takes down their primeval wins the first round and Gambit is a best of three. Gambit operates in three phases, banking, blocking, and breaching. We'll start with banking as it may be the most important part of Gambit as a whole. Each time you kill an enemy, they will drop a moat and an individual can hold up to 15. However, if you die, then you will lose your moats. These moats are what you deposit at any time, and that's how you spawn a blocker. If an enemy team has sent a blocker, you must kill the blocker first before you can bank the moats. When you hit 25 or 50 moats, a portal will be open to the other team's side so that you can invade and kill the other players. Once you hit 75 moats, the prime evil will spawn in and you have to kill this thing to win. And while you're keeping your eye on the action, there is a bar at the top of the screen. This bar represents how many moats you have on you, how many the enemy team has, and how many you need to bank to spawn your prime evil. Keep an eye on it, it's very important while you're trying to run around and kill all the enemies. Now on to blocking. There are three tiers of blockers. Five for a small, ten for a medium, and fifteen for a large, kind of like McDonald's in America. These cause the other team to be unable to bank their moats. The enemy team can also invade while blocked, so if timed right, it can be detrimental to your progress. One of the best tactics is sequencing your blocks. If two people on your team have 10 moats and then the other two have 5, you can deposit your 10 moats and then a small blocker so that the medium blocker comes out and once killed, a small blocker will immediately spawn after. This causes you to halt their progress, buying you just that much time you need to get your advantage. Finally, on to breaching. This can change the whole game if timed right. Once your team has deposited 25 and 50 moats, a portal will open and allow one guardian to breach the other team's side. Think Dark Souls meets Destiny. When you invade, you have 30 seconds to cause as much damage as possible. This can either be by killing the other players or simply causing them to be distracted by you, meaning they will not be collecting new moats. Once the opposing team has banked 75 moats, the portal will be opened indefinitely. This means that one person can keep breaching the other team with a small cooldown in between. When an invader spawns in, you will be away from the other players and have an overshield. This overshield will not disappear over time, but will also not recharge. When invading, the PvE enemies will not attack you. When you invade the enemy, you will see a glowing red and leave behind a smoke trail. Going invisible will stop this for a short time. You are also able to see the enemy nameplates permanently and how many moats they are carrying, making it easy to pick out which targets you want to assassinate. And that kind of sums up Gambit. I hope it helps out with some information and a little bit more insight onto this new mode coming with Forsaken. Stay tuned for a lot more Forsaken content on the full release with the stream over on the Rectify Twitch channel and YouTube channels. We hope to see you guys all there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe so that you don't miss any more content, and I'll see you guys next time. Josh, we miss you, buddy. Get back into Destiny.
Your team's looking strong. 